Welcome to Into Math. This is Grade 6 EQAO Weekly Prep. Today we're taking up two questions as usual. One has to do with a triangle and an enclosed shape, and another one is on equations, solving equations. Let's start with this one. This question is asking us to find the area of the shaded region. We have two shapes here. One is a rectangle and an enclosed shape is a triangle. In order for us to find the area of the shaded region, we need to first determine the area of the rectangle, then find the area of the triangle that's inside and subtract the area of the triangle from the area of the rectangle to get the shaded parts. Let's start with the rectangle. The area of any rectangle is length times width. In this case, we're multiplying 8 by 6, which is equal to 48. Since area is measured in centimeters squared, then I'm adding the units. The area of a rectangle is equal to base times height over 2. You'll have a formula sheet for that. You don't have to memorize these formulas. But I know that the height of this triangle is the same as the length of the rectangle which is 8 centimeters. So I can incorporate that into my formula and get 8 times 6 over 2, which is 24, 24 centimeters squared. So to get the area of the shaded part, I need to subtract 24 centimeters squared from 48 centimeters squared. Area of the shaded part is 48 subtract 24, which is 24 centimeters squared. In this question, you're being asked to find the sum of the two missing numbers from the given equations. So first, you need to determine what those numbers are in order to make the equations balanced. So these numbers need to satisfy the equation, means the side, the left side, needs to equal the right side. So let's start with the top one. What number do I need to subtract 3 from to get 7? 10. So the number here is 10. And what number do I need to multiply 4 by in order to get 8? 2. So the square would be 10 and the triangle would be 2. These two numbers make my equations balanced. And if I add them together, 10 plus 2, I'll get 12. So 12 is the correct solution. Thanks for being with me again today. This is Into Math and we are meeting here weekly for EQAO Math Grade 6 practice. In order to keep up with all our videos and not to miss any, subscribe to our channel. Also, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and visit our website, www.intomath.org, for more math practice. See you next time.